Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. So I am coming at you guys with a Goodwill 75% off Monday haul. The color of the week this week at Goodwill that is 75% off was the orange tag. I have already recorded this once. Not the whole thing, but I've already gotten through quite a bit once and realized that my mic on the front of my camera on my phone is not working. So there's that. I'm gonna make this quick. We are gonna dive in. I did enough chatting in the first one and I guess it's just God's way of saying, girl, get to the point. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I know face to face, like what's up? Miss you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know we have been super uber busy for the month of March and going into April and we have kind of been doing things nonstop. I just did a market sale. I did a ton of client furniture. I have to prep for a wedding. I have to prep for another sale. Like it's gonna be intense and we have birthdays coming up right around the corner. It's gonna be intense. So I finally got to go into Goodwill and enjoy myself shopping. I've been kind of in a few times but I haven't been able to get much because I was focused on the market sale and what I needed for that. So I didn't really wanna bring in much for the eBay inventory because I wasn't gonna be able to get to it and I didn't want a project progress pile sitting for weeks. <laughs> So that being said, I went in there today with Alma in one of the stores and just found a bunch of goodies. So let's go ahead and dive in, starting off with the orange tag items first. The first few orange tag items were the false graph blue stemware that I absolutely love, but I probably wouldn't have picked up at regular price. They were tagged at not, or excuse me, nine of them for $7.99. And I did pick up all nine because you have to buy them, you know, priced as the set. But the orange tag again was 75% off. So that was only $2 for all nine. Now that was a price I was willing to pay so that I could list them in the eBay store. They are very cruddy and grimy and everything in all of the best ways. Cause once I get them nice and clean, they are gonna look beautiful. When they're smaller stemware, I usually do a set of six for 20. I might do that and just hang on to the last bits for myself here at the house, we'll see. I don't know, it's probably gonna be six for 20 though because they are kind of small, you see that? So yeah, I'm thinking six for 20. When they're small like this, that's what I typically put them for. But at $2 for all nine, I mean, either way, it's still gonna be a good profit. So I picked those up. Next was this here. This is a 1970 Santa Clara plate. Now I picked this one up even though it's like got some interesting, you know, art on there and stuff. I picked it up because it said first edition out of 10,000. So I thought that was a good selling point if you ask me. And it was orange tag, so it was only 50 cents because they had it priced at $2. So that will be going up in the shop. I'm wondering if I could get like 12 to 14 for it maybe. Not positive. We shall see because the first edition is different than any other edition, right? So there's that. Next asparagus does really well in my ebay store this is an asparagus decorative mold you can see it has the little holes where you would hang your string there or wire or whatever to hang it it is full and complete around the side it has beautiful color it looks like an italian kind of style dish with those vibrant colors i absolutely love it and asparagus always does well either in the color or in the all white. I actually got some all white that I'm going to show you guys in a bit. But this one was priced at $4, so I only paid $1 and I thought that was a fantastic purchase price. I want to say that I could get 12 to 14 out of this one as well. Probably a little bit more because there's no chips, no cracks, and no crazing on it. It's actually a very nice, pretty piece. So funny enough, I actually sold my Mikasa Ultima Plus Super Strong Fine China Bowl this morning. It's already been shipped out. But these are the dinner plates and I found a set of four in fantastic condition. They are beautiful, they are so clean. They are this black and white checkered print going around the rim. And these are in Vassar Black. They look like that. And they were priced at $2, so I paid 50 cents a plate, which is awesome. And it was a set of four, which makes it even better because people typically like to buy in sets. So I got those. Okay, so when I saw these, I picked them up and I thought that they were like a USA pottery, kind of like a vintage 1940s, 50s 
uh, brown glazed pottery, but it turns out that they are actually very modern. They are pottery barn brown glaze artesian plates. They are microwavable, dishwasher safe. They are so sturdy and heavy, and it's that real pretty, thick, rich brown glaze that looks very vintage. I do love the style of those. Now, it was a set of two, four, six, a set of six for $10, but they were orange tags, so that was what, $2.50? $2.50 for six Pottery Barn plates. That is fantastic. If you guys, I don't know if y'all remember, I had a set of eight Bunny Pottery Barn plates that I paid a dollar a piece for, and I sold them for $200. That was amazing, so thank you to that person because you know, got to pay bills. So yeah, sold those for 200 bucks for a set of eight. That was just so awesome. I was horrified though, the entire time that they were in like shipping process because I did not want those to break. I was like, I cannot afford to pay this back. Anyway, so I got those for 250 for the set of six. Now I believe that is it for the orange tag. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's everything. So everything else is going to be regular price. I'm going to run through it really quick because like I said, I've already taken up enough time recording most of this, the first half. We're just going to go right into all of these smalls and then we'll do the big stuff towards the end. I found this guy. How cute is he? This was the Dakin, Dakin, I don't know, San Francisco 1990s bear. Isn't he a adorable oh am gosh so these bears sell at a decent kind of price but he's got like this whole attire and this really cute little look to him so i think i could squeeze a few more bucks out of him he was only a dollar and he's so precious and so clean and he's a great size his little legs do move like that so i picked him up for a buck and kind of sticking to, I feel like he's like a seasonal kind of Christmas guy, but sticking to something similar to that, I found these metallic-y snowman mugs. Actually, Alma found these. She found these and then like a cookie jar, but I couldn't find any information on it, so I didn't want to risk the jar because I felt like the mugs, I could sell them either way. I'm going to be listing them for for 20 as well, and they are these crazy metallic -y red, gold, purple, silver, all this mugs and by the look of them on the inside i think they're porcelain and not ceramic because they're lightweight very white and they don't look like like there's a difference between ceramic and porcelain well they're the same but there's a difference between the look of porcelain and the look of ceramic and these look like porcelain mugs so i don't know I'm probably gonna just do four for 20 and it's a safe bet, but they were a dollar a piece. Very cool looking. I thought they were just quirky enough that somebody would love them. Next are the Philippe or Felipe Richard, Philippe Richard veggie casseroles. Now, Majolica style things, the asparagus, the corn, and the artichokes resell very well for me. Some things don't do so great, like fruit doesn't do great for me. So I was really happy when I saw these and saw that they were two of the things that I know will sell uh, well. So there's this corn veggie casserole, very pretty in this yellow color. Bottom looks like that. And it says handcrafted, hand-painted, dishwasher and oven safe so nice and that one was four dollars and when it comes to stuff like this you can get about 14 out of it same for this one this is the artichoke again this one was four dollars as well and it's by the same maker oven dishwasher safe there we go very pretty now stuff like this and this pretty green color i'm so tempted to keep it for myself because I love that olive -y kind of muted green color. So cute. So I got both of those at $4 a piece. And then I also got this glass cat for two bucks. It's got good weight to it, but it's so dingy down here at the bottom. So I, I can't see if there's any 
signature or kind of etching or anything like that until after I clean it. It's got like layers of dirt and dust on there. So I'm not going to be able to see anything until I clean it. But it's very pretty and it is hand blown. You can see where they broke the thing off. I forget what the word is, but it, very, very nice. Next is this. I think this is a quail, a baby, I mean, not a baby. I think this is a quail. We're actually raising quails. If you guys, again, don't follow me on Instagram, we have 12 baby quails and we're waiting for them to start laying and we're actually gonna be hatching more chickens this spring and the things here at the Bates House are just growing. So I got this one. all white it's a very light porcelain ceramic and it was only one dollar and it was orange tag so that made it 25 cents and I thought the hubby would appreciate that next I found these gorgeous napkin rings for two dollars for this set check them out they are Christmas trees beautiful beautiful napkin rings I thought they were fantastic and again, it's a set of four. So you're only paying 50 cents a napkin ring, guys. And they are so pretty. I couldn't pass those up, so I grabbed them. Okay, we're going to jump into a few mugs and move on. I got this Walt Disney World dad mug because, of course, Father's Day is coming up. And this is a very nice size mug. And it has all of the... Disney characters doing a bunch of different things all in the different scenes and I just thought it was adorable. Either way, Disney resells very well. I just have to do some research. It looks kind of modern. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, 2000s? Let's see, let's look at all of the Disney characters that are on here. We have all of your standard characters. We have Cinderella, Belle, Ariel, Beauty and the Beast, Lion King, Mulan, but there's none of the new characters. There's Jasmine, Aladdin, Buzz, so you know it's 2000s, but there's none of like the modern day characters. So that is a plus. So yeah, I picked that up. It was only $3 and I know I can get a good 15 out of that. Moving on, I found this Otagiri hot air balloon mug. This one was only $1 and Otagiri does well in anything, especially hot air balloons because it's very pretty. It's a whole uh, scenery around the entire mug. That's a plus and it's hot air balloons. So it's theme specific. There's a lot of hot air balloon lovers out there. I think K is for Karen is one of them. And then, ah, speaking of K is for Karen, she likes Holly Hobby. These are memories are the nicest keepsake of all, keepsakes of all. And this is a Holly Hobby mug for 99 cents. It's a footed porcelain mug. Very pretty. And then the it's got like a little green trim down here at the bottom. So pretty. I found a uh, Six Flags vintage Looney Tunes 1994 mug. It has a name on it. It says Leah, but I didn't care because vintage Looney Tunes, especially with them trying to get rid of a lot of the characters, I think this would be a fantastic item for someone to collect and hold on to in hopes to kind of just save the memory of our childhood. These guys are so crazy and cool. There's that, 1994. Found this vintage mug. Now I wanna, I'm saying, I'm thinking this has got some age to it. It says mother on the front. It says who ran to help me when I fell and kissed the place to make it well. I remember mother. That is gorgeous with the gold trim at the top and the bottom. This one was 99 cents. 
and I just think it's a fantastic mug. This looks like about a 12 ounce mug. Next, I found this, guys, it's Smokey the Bear. He was only two bucks, real pretty yellow mug. I'm thinking I can probably do about 12 on this one. So cute, again, our childhood like OMG, two bucks. Then I found these Modern Farmhouse collection kind of monogram mugs in an A and a P. Now I thought about keeping the P for myself, but I don't ever really like my monogram on anything and unless it's like the full Bates house. So hmm, I'm gonna put it in the shop. Anyway, two mugs, Modern Farmhouse collection. The letters are actually raised so you can feel the outline. Very pretty. And then I picked up the Spode Blue Peony. Now, Spode doesn't really resell that well. I believe this is a um, porcelain mug. No, this is ceramic. This is a ceramic mug, yeah. These are two ceramic mugs. They were 99 cents a piece. Again, Blue Peony. The only reason why I jumped on these, not because they were Spode, but because they were blue florals very pretty kind of natural element still a nice trendy piece something to add a little accent color in your dish collection or on your display i did pick up a set of two there were three mugs but i just stuck to the two again a dollar a piece next we're going to go into some plates so i can move this stuff out of the way these are the dansk plates the bistro dishes now these are beautiful i absolutely love the blue uh the blue rim with the dansk color because dansk is like not a pure white it has this gray blue tone to it and that blue is always so pretty and rich and then it has the little you know contrast with the dots anyway dansk resells very well and this was a six piece set for eight dollars these are the saucers to a few of the cups that I do have sitting right there, but I only have two of the cups that go to this, so the rest will be sold individually. I still thought it was worth it because you have a four piece, and then I have a uh, full set of the two to go together because you can resell the cup and saucer from 10 to 12 bu bucks, of course, depending on the market, but typically it's about 10 to 12 bucks for the set of the saucer and the mug, just one set. So I did pick those up. Again, it was a six piece for $8. That was regular price. Next we have the, these kind of look like salad plates. These were a two piece for $3. And this is a different print, but it's also dance. It's the white with the blue rim. I like that. I sold some speckled pottery dance dishes not too long ago. It was like a, I want to see say an eight piece or a 10 piece or something like that for really good money. And I had those sitting in my bins for like a year and I paid five bucks for them. Okay, next are the dinner plates. It is a set of four for $8, so $2 a plate. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous dishes and they are in fantastic condition. I also got another one for $2 by itself Again, beautiful condition. I did pick up the one by itself just in case there was one in the stack that just didn't look too good. I could uh, substitute that one instead. So this is a strawberry pie sugar cream pie dish. And I absolutely love making pies. If you don't know, on my Instagram, I have quick recipes and the highlights where you can go to to reference recipes that I've shared with you guys. I've done biscuits, pie dough, pasta dough, super quick enchiladas on like a like fake it to make it kind of night um just really easy recipes that i've shared with you guys are on the instagram highlights the most recent one that was requested was rice the mexican rice to share with you guys so i will be doing that i love making pies and i actually have these strawberry pie dishes in a different style in the jeanette uh style and these are korea so i'm assuming these are probably 80s 90s but it's a very pretty pie plate with a little recipe on there for $3. And this one, unfortunately, was the only one in this style. It is the Mikasa Ultra Stone Gray Granite Wear Looking Ceramic or China Plate. This one, or the Stoneware Plate. 
It says, oven to table to dishwasher, safe for microwave oven. Vintage Japan. How awesome is that? So I was super excited about this because it's a gorgeous gray color, very modern looking, and it's a great size. That's like a 12 inch plate. So that one was three bucks. Next, I have the California Pottery Asparagus Plates. Each plate has five asparagus laying on the bottom of the plate and they are all white. I absolutely love these. I have artichoke plates that uh, resell very well for um, in this kind of like similar style. These are asparagus plates and they are gorgeous. There was a set of four for $4, so $1 a plate. And I'm pretty sure these will resell very well. Stuff like this goes pretty quick in the shop. And going back to the Dansk stuff, I have two of the mugs with the beautiful blue and orange design on the side there. So two of those six plates are gonna be paired with these to sell as a set. And then I have two of the plain blue stripe mug. And these were two for a dollar. So those were only 50 cents. And again, I don't think those have a plate to pair with though. No, so I think I'm gonna have to sell the mugs by themselves on that one. Next, now these are some of my favorite pieces. So this is a set of foresty green, kind of goldish looking cork board placemats. They're cork on the back side and then the green and gold on the front. There's a set of four and they are in fantastic condition. I absolutely love them and they were only $3 a piece. So, I mean, excuse me, $3 for the set. So I had to pick those up, but I'm thinking these are gonna stay here with me. These are gonna be a part of my personal collection for when I serve and take pictures of things and make things very pretty. Sorry guys, it's so gloomy outside. Next, I found these really pretty hooks. Now these are perfect for different, you can actually use them for different things. You can use them to hang your jewelry, to hang scarves, to use for purse handles like an, uh, for a handbag or anything like that. So I saw two sets of two and they were 99 cents a piece. So I went ahead and picked up all four. I thought they were adorable. And if you don't know, I try to reduce waste. And uh, as far as like plastics and stuff like that, I still bring in plastic into the craft room. But as far as like in my home and everywhere out here, I try to reduce plastic waste. And anything that I do bring into the house, I kind of want it to be of a nicer quality, like a wood or a porcelain or a ceramic or a metal or, you know, something like that. So when I saw these, I was very excited because again, they are not plastic and they are very pretty and you can use them for whatever you want to use them for. I found these, these are the hand woven by Gladys Clark, pretty placemats. They look very boho in this nice sandy tan color. There was a set of two and placemats go for 50 cents at our Goodwill. And that was the regular price. So I did pick up both of those and I thought that would be absolutely adorable. Hanging on one of these and you could use them as like a hand towel or something like that or even just a little accent decor piece. So cute. So there is that. Next, I picked up this little shelf. I love this shelf. Now I incorporate shelves like this into my pantry, like up on the little void spaces on the wall. I have little tiny shelves where I put little seasoning glasses and stuff like that of like everything seasoning or some bay leaves or something that you don't use all the time. And I also use these in my craft room where I am embracing my vintage style in my craft room. I've gotten rid of a lot of the pink stuff because remember I used to have like all the Pepto pink when I was kind of going through this thing where like I don't have a daughter so I'm gonna embrace all pink things. Well, I'm over it. <laughs> I got it all out of my system. I know I'm not gonna have daughters because I have five boys and it is what it is. And now I can just kind of embrace what I really enjoy, which is my vintage and grays and black and stuff like that. Anyway, I use pieces like this in my craft room because I like to put them into the bookshelf in the void space. I'll put them in there and uh, store like smaller little embellishments and stuff like that on them. I share all that stuff with you guys on my Instagram. So always feel free to check me out over there where I, you know, show you a lot of the things that I'm doing real time in my life. Next, I got these. 
Now, I know there's really not a market for Norman Rockwell. Even though the art is so awesome, the story behind it is fantastic, it's so Americana, I feel like the magic is kind of lost with Norman Rockwell's art as of right now for a market. But I wanted these because they are theme specific, which makes it a little bit easier to kind of target a market. So they are the Norman Rockwell copyright in 1994 by Curtis Archives coasters in the baseball theme. Now there's a set of eight in each pack and they were only $3. Each one has, there's two here, two here, two, and then two. And they were only $3. So I feel like since it's targeted to a baseball specific kind of group, then they'll be more likely to sell than just a typical Norman Rockwell piece. I love Norman Rockwell pieces. I have a whole collection of plates that my in-laws gave me and I'm gonna be keeping them. I'm not putting them in the eBay store or anything like that because I actually like Norman Rockwell. But anyway, there were two sets of eight. So I picked them up at $3 a pack and I'm gonna be putting those into the shop brand new. That is awesome. I picked up a quick stamp. I purged a lot of my stamps that I do not like from my collection. I pretty much touched everything in my office recently. Okay, so like I told you, I've been doing all the things. I did an entire eBay store overhaul and created an entire inventory system that I absolutely love. I can get up when I have orders in the morning. When the bus gets boogie in the morning, I come straight in and I go pull from the inventory. I come upstairs, I package it and I get it ready to ship. And then I wake the other boys up to go to school and I go get ready for whatever I'm gonna go do. And then I take the packages and I drop them off on my way to go do whatever I'm gonna be doing for the day. So having that inventory system work so flawlessly has been so awesome. That being said, I also revamped my craft room where I purged a bunch of everything. And if you know me, or if you don't know, my craft room is packed with things because I have been blessed beyond belief by friends to the channel with mountains of craft supplies on top of the craft supply hauls that I do on a budget and share with you guys with things that I want to incorporate into my space and that I get to pick myself. I have been just blessed beyond belief and I went through recently and I took out every single little piece of things that did not 100% fit my taste and style and I shared them with other people. I previously did something similar and did a secret giveaway of 14 winners. That was crazy. That was kind of that was kind of hectic. 14 giveaway winners got a bunch of stuff that I had purged through the first one. So I'm constantly doing stuff and I recently purged my stamp collection because I wanted to use the Dollar Tree click lid containers to store my stamps in and thank God for Karen and Alma. They sent me a ton of containers to be able to fit all my stamps into. So I went into Goodwill today and there were several stamps, but I only picked up this one because it is a dogwood flower floral uh, stamp. And I thought that was beautiful. It's a great size. It doesn't say a name. It says K1228, made in the USA, 1994. So it's a vintage block stamp and I liked it. I thought it was a great size and a really pretty image on there. And I do things with botanicals and stuff like that. So I thought that was great for a buck. So the last bits of what I got are three fantastic mirrors. I feel like these are so, I'm not, not, goth but like I feel like Regina the Queen would have these lying down an entire hallway as she passed in her black dress you know and it's just so beautiful they are vintage home co so like 70s or something like that but they are fantastic and you're gonna get a whole reflection and glare so let's do this instead so they are fantastic and there was a set of three and they were $5 a piece and I could not pass them up. How gorgeous are those? They are a great size, at least, I'd say about almost two feet and a set of three. I can totally see one of these painted black. Yeah, they're so nice for $5. I love them, so I picked up all three. Okay guys, that is pretty much it for this Goodwill haul. I am. So uh, I'm so frustrated that it doesn't work. My, I've had this problem before where my mic on the front camera goes 
bad and I had to get a whole new phone the last time and now we're at this we're in this situation again so I don't know so face to face probably won't be happening anytime soon because I don't like going through the chaos and the hecticness of going to the store and getting a replacement and doing all that not about that life but for now I enjoyed doing this haul with you guys I am working with the back camera so hopefully everything was in frame if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a big thumbs up comment down below let me know what your favorite find was also if you enjoyed and you know other people that enjoy thrift hauls or finding fantastic vintage treasures go ahead and share this video with them because it helps our channel grow and if you're new to the channel welcome go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell on your way out so you can be notified of new videos whenever I do post. If you want to see what I'm doing real time in the regular life things that I do, basically all day random stuff, then go ahead and follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. And for now, guys, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Good morning. So we are out at the spring sale that I was telling you guys or I've been telling you guys about halfway telling you about because I've been so busy trying to prep everything but we are out here and I'm gonna show you really quick what the little booth looks like so it's a 10 by 10 it was bigger like way bigger than I thought it was gonna be it's bigger than 10 by 10. yeah and so I don't know it looks good I just feel like I could have filled it in more I just really thought I was being limited anyway to summarize I'll show you really quick what it looks like it's the husband <laughs> Okay, so I have my, or our eggs out. I did get cartons for the eggs and I put our little stickers on there per usual. Usually when I sell them in the neighborhood, I put them in recycled or reused cartons and then I'll wrap them real pretty, put some tie on them and put our sticker. But since these are in, these are in similar cartons, I can just wrap it with some twine and send it on its way real cute like. And I have the little sign here we have our eggs out so they can see like what the eggs look like have my ebay store stuff payment stuff and then down below i have the big bags which i might pull out once the ground dries so they can actually see them i didn't want to put them on the floor while it was wet and then i have bags there for purchases we do have this ugly little thing right there but oh well what can you do and we are the first spot in the entry row Next, I have candles and caddies, dobo towels, racks, rolling pins, the mesh bags for washing the dobo towels, some bags. Here we have some Simonton Baker's Pantry stuff, flower pots, teapots, coffee pots, lots of butter dishes, the Simonton Sunset and tea, and then the Simonton Sunrise and coffee mugs. I have some little burnt wood garland. A little mat and then the first item to sell was an apron it was a waist apron in the Navy and then we have the rest of the aprons here along with the shirt and I'm actually wearing one of the shirts but I'm wearing a sweater right now because it's kind of cold and that is a quick little setup I'll walk back real quick so you can check it out uh, the handsome man is not for sale <laughs> but it looks cute it's definitely bigger than I thought now I know for next time Okay, so we are cleaning everything up and putting away as much as we can, leaving a bunch of stuff right here, and we will be back tomorrow. Today, day one went very well, but I have enough to kind of make it look like a full display, and then I have a few things left over, and I will be back tomorrow morning. Hey guys, so it is day two, Sunday, and I am going to be working with the last of the stuff that didn't sell yesterday. It's not much, and but it still looks pretty, if that makes any sense. I kind of spread it out and sectioned it different today, and I kind of moved the tables in and consolidated the space so that it looks good. It doesn't just look like a big empty space. So I'm gonna show you really quick what it looks like and which one.
that's a quick look at everything. Now, what I learned was the most popular yesterday were the dough bowl towels, the rolling pins, and the butter dishes. Everybody loved the butter dishes and the waist aprons. And that was mainly from the vendors here, I guess because, you know, you want to carry your money, you want to carry your stuff, and a lot of these vendors are homesteaders, so they also want to use it for working around their homestead for eggs or garden stuff, supplies, and all of that. And... Yeah, I was really surprised about the dough bowl towels since I kind of came up with that just out of pure, not necessity, but like vibe. I wanted a total adorable vibe when I was baking and taking pictures and for the quick recipes that I do on Instagram and all of that. So I was, um, I kind of came up with that on a whim for myself, finding some organic Gerber baby diaper towel things and it just it was a hit so yeah that might be something that i put into the etsy shop or something like that where i can sell them regularly because i actually really love them oh and the eggs did very well yesterday uh, we had about 12 dozen and they all sold and then i had some people come pick some up after the show or after the shop and i have three dozen today and that's pretty much it unless the hubby comes with some more eggs later on when he gets up and comes out here but for now i'm just gonna sit it out and see what happens Oh, Boogie's hustling over there. Anger.